Hi everyone, in this video we will see about headway and fundamental relations of traffic flow. First we will see about the microscopic characteristics that is time headway and space headway. Suppose you are standing on a road and you observe the first vehicle at 30th second. And you observe the next vehicle at 33rd second. So the difference in time between these two vehicles is the time headway. So here headway is equal to 3 seconds. And what is space headway? Space headway is the distance between two vehicles. If the distance between these two vehicles is 3 meters, space headway equal to 3 meter. It is as simple as that. Suppose there are n vehicles passing through this point, so the average headway will be total time taken for the all, all the vehicles to pass that is t divided by n. We know that q is equal to n t by t. So from these two equations we know that flow is inverse of average headway. And here also if you solve we know that k is equal to n p by length l. So if you had observed for a length l, k will be 1 divided by average spacing. To understand this more better we will see time space diagram. Suppose at this point there are vehicles and here also there are vehicles this is 0 to 100 meters. One vehicle starts from here and keeps on going. Here this is time and here it is distance. So for the first vehicle graph will be it will keep on moving distance versus time. The 10 meters in 10 seconds like that so on and so forth. And this vehicle is starting here. Already some distance has been travelled by it. So it will start from here and keep on going like this and some vehicle will come after some particular time and start from zeroth distance. It's like this. So we have a lot of vehicles passing through the stream. So this difference is the space headway and this difference is the time headway. Let us see about the arrival of vehicles that is Poisson distribution. This, this question is often asked in the gate examination also. So we will as it has a simple formula like if suppose this is a road and you keep on observing vehicles. First vehicle will come in fifth second, second vehicle will come in tenth second. So for this they follow Poisson distribution. So we have the formula P of H equal to mu into minus h e power minus nu divided by h factorial. Here nu is nothing but the flow rate. How many vehicles per hour? And h is probability of h. Probability of h is the probability you will see h vehicles in in unit time. This was a question asked in uh, gate examination. Suppose the flow rate is 900 vehicles per hour. What is the probability that the headway is greater than 8 seconds? Which means they are telling that for 8 seconds no vehicle should pass. So here h is 0 p of 0 is equal to nu into minus 0 e power minus nu by 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1, this is also 1 equal to e power minus nu. So we need the flow rate for every 8 seconds. So it is 900 vehicles per hour. 900 
into 8 divided by 3600 that is 2 vehicles per second so mu is equal to 2 e power minus 2 i think that is 0 0.135 so this is the probability that you will observe no vehicles with a gap of 8 seconds suppose if you wanted to know for 30 seconds then you have to find out the flow rate for every 30 seconds here it is 2 vehicles per 8 seconds sorry suppose if you want to find for 30 seconds it is 900 into 30 divided by 3600 so you will get the probability let us see the fundamental relations of traffic flow Suppose when there are too many vehicles on the road you observe a jam and none of the vehicles will be able to pass and they will be moving at almost zero speed. So that point is here, no vehicles pass. And suppose there is a highway where no vehicle goes. Even if one vehicle go, it will go at a very high speed. So that point is here. If suppose there is two vehicles, three vehicles, so the speed keeps on reducing as the number of vehicle increases and the opposite thing happens here also even if two or three vehicles start moving the flow rate will be two or three vehicles per second and the speed will be very less so another point you will get here here so this graph will come like this this is vf vf is free flow speed which we saw here and this is zero speed and this is zero flow and this is the maximum flow similarly you have speed versus density graph at free flow speed there are no vehicles so the density is zero at at lower speeds you see that so many vehicles will pass so density is maximum here which is the jam density k jam so if you see here so many vehicles are there and they are not able to pass so speed is zero and density is maximum which is denoted by kj based on these two we will get the flow density graph also so that looks like this so this is k0 that is zero density this is kj maximum density and this is q max so density at q max is k max now what is the relation between these things so this graph can be written as an equation it is a very important equation speed equal to v is equal to free flow speed vf into 1 minus k divided by kj linear relationship this is a very important equation which you will be further using for solving so many questions and we also have this relation q is equal to kv from these two equations you can solve every problem which is there in gate exam here we see that maximum density is found at kj by 2 If you substitute this equation here, you will get V is equal to Vf by 2. So this is the speed at maximum flow. At maximum flow, Q max, we get K max, which is Kj by 2. If you substitute in this equation, you get V0, which is the speed at maximum flow, which is Vf by 2. So from these two equations, we will get Q max, Q max equal to KV, which is nothing but KJ by 2 into VF by 2. So capacity is nothing but Q max. And whenever you want to find the theoretical capacity, we know that Q max is inverse of headway 1 divided by H average. So when this headway is minimum, theoretical capacity is reached capacity is affected by factors like lane width 
if there are lot of heavy vehicles on the road then the capacity reduces and it also depends on the alignment if curves are there speed is less therefore capacity is also less i have a question for you answer in the top right corner which of the following statement is correct also based on whatever i have teach now i have solved some numerical problems which you will be finding in the next lecture thank you guys for watching the video